So, check our I-Pace Testing the auto lane Well, the lane the steering Jaguar steering assist system and uh, this system works pretty different from Tesla's uh, autopilot um, you can see now that uh, the steering wheel is green the car is uh, driving itself uh, keeping the distance with the uh, automatic radar cruise control and also have identified these lane markers and follow it um, so the big difference with the, the Tesla autopilot system um, is that with the Tesla system you hand over control to the car and the car confirms that that's the issue uh, that you have done that in this system it, um, it it's more like you're supposed to drive the car with the car at the same time so it's definitely more of an assist system than Tesla, and we're probably going to see that in this small video. Um, the way you engage it is that you have to push this button first, uh, the two different orange lane markers, and then you will have to uh, activate cruise control, and as you can see it's uh, not a problem for the car to go 10 kilometers above the speed limit, probably more also. I only had the car for a few days. Uh, I only have traveled something like 150 kilometers with it. Oh, let's see what's happening. Ah, so there it's suddenly disengaged and now it's engaged again. Um, it couldn't really handle that on ramp because it didn't identify a lane marker on the right side. So, but what happens when there's no lead car? It doesn't identify any lead car in the display now. Uh, works pretty well. A bit of ping-ponging I would say um, here comes one of the more tricky bands and whoops <laughs> I don't really feel confident on it at all yet um, the biggest drawback I would say oh drifting wide I have to help it a little bit um, the biggest difference I would say is uh, that um, uh, it feels so unsafe when the car just stops driving itself oh going wide where are we though to the other side and now it's disengaged suddenly I don't know why it does that no handover signal no warning to hand over to the driver and then it's suddenly engaged again and it has a track on a different car so if I want to change the, the, the distance I can push this button that says uh, this the the icon is uh, two arrows which is shorter and two arrows which are longer and that will increase the distance. Okay, let's turn around. And so if I push on the accelerator pedal or if I push the uh, push the indicator stalk or if I just turn the wheel the system will disengage without uh, a notice uh, but it will re-engage without me do needing to do anything at all so it will just start again if it feels that the uh, lane markers are clear and the road is suitable it will just start and engage again um, so that is a good thing but as I think that Tesla's um, lane change system is a bit finicky, um, so this is a smarter system for lane change, but it is definitely not, um, I, I don't really feel comfortable yet. So I have set the speed and we're just waiting for the car and there we got it. So. And I would say that <coughs> Tesla system reminds me of what you see in, in helicopter pilots and stuff like that where you say that uh, where one of the pilots says uh, you have control and then the other one says I have control and then they hand over control and they do that with a nice and precise confirmation. This system is more like 
uh, I thought you were in control. No, I, you, I thought you were. And then you go straight into the wall. So, um, and when it comes to performance, you really need to, to guide it. Okay, identifying a, a motorcycle, a veteran motorcycle there. The system is, is it is kind of drifting wide. 10k above speed limit, so it kind of reminds me of earlier um, Autopilot 2 systems. Let's see if it can handle this pretty easy bend over the small crest. Yes, it does. No hands on the wheel. It keeps decently inside the lane marker. Oh, core point. Keep your hands on the wheel. So that's the nag. That's pretty interesting. They they have a very decent nag. Uh, if you don't, if it doesn't, I don't know what kind of sensors the, the car has, but um, why they don't put that noise when the system disengage, I don't know. Um, there is some way to find out uh, the software version on this car. Exactly sure where that is going to be found. Um, other stuff. Uh, this car is really great. I um, have a beautiful seating position in it. It is um, uh, it is uh, an HSE specification for Europe. So that is the highest level specification. This is not the first edition. So I have a soft material here, which seems. And there we suddenly were disengaged. <laughs> so this is no autopilot where you, with some confidence, you can let the Tesla autopilot steer the car itself and start doing other stuff with this uh, Jaguar steering assist. Don't do it. Keep your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel and kind of pretend that you're steering the car all the time. So. So let's try the lane change and you see that it's easy for me to just do the lane change and then after a few seconds now the car will probably re-engage if I stop pushing the accelerator and there it is. So but it's not like I need to but that I can totally relax, it's definitely an uh, assist system. Um, it is so yeah. Good car, pretty comfortable with the balloon tires almost, I like it.